Yeah, no, he fails. And uh, our general policy is that if you fail to memorize something, that's it. We're not gonna be cheap and reload just to do that. I mean, it's not even really that useful a spell. That and you throw in the mixture that a mage actually has to, in second edition rules, contend with the elemental, while a, a druid or a cleric can automatically control theirs. That's not really very helpful either. So, whatever. Oh, wow! Holy! They are not messing around here. Um, wow, okay, I guess we'll try... Old monster, summon up some help. Both our frontline fighters are unable to fight. Okay, we've got three of them held. Oh hey, now they're back in action. Alright, we're turning this fight around. Alright, let's greater Malison, maybe try to reduce their saves. That I would, Manling. I assume that now that you have escaped, you have come seeking the magical item that has been stripped from you by our collective captor. Uh, huh. You have an item of mine? I do, a thing of power that still carries a hint of your essence. There's something odd about the signature that you leave on this item. No matter. Well, can you give it to me? If I had the power to give you your weapon, I would, but the force that binds me is strong. As long as I am trapped within this flask, I am within the mage's power. If you can secure the means of my release, I shall give you your weapon. Um, well that sounds like a fair trade. How do I secure the means of your release? This flask that I am bound in is a creation of magic. It is unbreakable as long as it remains apart from its twin, the real flask. You must find the original flask and bring it back to me. Once it is within my grasp, I can break the enchantment and be freed. Uh, well, where can we find this flask? He will keep the flask close to himself. The massacre would not risk it falling into other hands. Perhaps he keeps it in his chambers, or with his dryad concubines. Perhaps the golems have it. I cannot pinpoint its location from another plane. You shall have to search for it. Return to me when you have found it, and we shall exchange my freedom for your weapon. He keeps calling it a flask. A flask? Kept close to the master. That wouldn't be the, uh... Let's see, didn't we find... Well, that's odd. Huh. Jump on my sword while you can, Evil! I won't be as gentle! Please find the flask that is the twin to the one of which I'm bound. I await your need. I am willing. Okay, then. Hmm. That's kind of odd, because I thought we, we did... We must rest soon. Who is getting squirrely? Oh, okay, I understand what happened. When I had to reload, um, I must have, uh, forgotten to pick that up while I was sitting, setting everything up again. Well, that's a simple enough solution to that problem. Uh, so we will be right back. Actually, come to think about it, I think the way it works yeah, we used that, uh, the air elemental statue to probably warp to this plane. That's why it's missing now from our inventory. He's asking for a flask. Huh. Well, I guess... I don't really know who would be the best, to, uh, where would be the best place to look. I mean, obviously the bedrooms. I go. But maybe the dryads have some idea. We must rest soon. Boo is getting squirrely. Yeah, the hay spells. Have rest would be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. Tuckered everyone out, but uh, oh, yeah, I. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. I wish we could stop for a bit. Well, the team still complains long and hard, like they used to. I wonder if you can watch. Yeah, you can watch your people moving around on the map. That's good. All right, so. Yeah, I guess we'll ask the Dryads about that, because we did find uh, their acorns off of Ilyich here. And so, uh, maybe then they will uh, be able to help us somehow. Or they know something about it at least. And then there are those two teleportation portals. 
I mean, we found a key for it. I'm not really sure which one is safe. Of course. All right, let's talk to them. You have done a noble thing for us. Please take these acorns to the Fairy Queen, who lives in the south end of the Windspear Hills. We will help you escape. You must use the portals to travel. Huh. Well, I guess... I don't really know who would be the best to... Uh, where would be the best place to look. I mean, obviously the bedrooms. I go. But maybe the Dryads have some idea. We must rest soon. Boo is getting squirrely. <laughs> Yeah, the hay spells. Have Rest would be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. Tuckered everyone out, but uh, oh, yeah, I. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. I wish we could stop for a bit. Well, the team still complains long and hard, like they used to. I wonder if you can watch. Yeah, you can watch your people moving around on the map. That's good. All right, so yeah, I guess we'll ask the dryads about that because we did find uh, their acorns off of Ilyich here. And so, uh, maybe then they will uh, be able to help us somehow. Or they know something about it at least. And then there are those two teleportation portals. I mean, we found a key for it. I'm not really sure which one is safe. Of course! Alright, let's talk to them. You have done a noble thing for us. Please take these acorns to the Fairy Queen, who lives in the south end of the Windspear Hills. We will help you escape! You must use the portals to travel up to the next level of the complex. This is how Irenicus travels. The portals are triggered by a certain key. He uses her key. He still loves her, you see. He keeps her room just as it was, though well protected. We go there sometimes and look at her things. May the forest always open a path for you. So, do you dryads happen to know anything about a flask? You have returned, human. Is there something else that you require for us? Um, I actually search for a flask in order to free a genie. Have you seen such a thing? You are very noble to risk your own safety to free the genie. We have the flask and shall give it to you. Oh, well, that's good. Thanks. As I would have done. Oh, well, I guess the, yeah, they had it after all. So, yeah, uh, there's the acorns we're supposed to take back. Probably hold on to those back here somewhere. And uh, the genie's flask. All right, so I suppose we will travel back to the elemental plane of air and give this to the genie in order to collect uh, the possession it supposedly has of ours and uh, give it its freedom, you know, helping out uh, other creatures in need. So yeah, we we did find that teleport key. I'm not really sure which portal we should try using. I mean, there's the one back by the prison cells. But we'd rather not go back there, just because the place creeps us out. And there's no telling that maybe this Irenicus person actually, actually, uh... <gasps> Whoa! What was that? Nature Fear suddenly got hurt. Oh! Wow, there's a fire method. You are a backhand of justice! Healing potion. <laughs> Ouch! Now Minsk is getting it. Where Minsk goes, even stands a sight. <laughs> I Where did that fire method come from? That was crazy. Yikes. Carrot got a bit singed too. As you would have it. Glad we managed to scrounge so many healing potions from down here. We must it rest soon. Boo is getting squirrely. <laughs> hmm. I mean it would be practical to rest, but... I am willing. There... Rest would be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. Would there really be any safe place to rest in a place like this? I'm getting sleepy. Wish we could stop for a bit. I mean, it's not like we haven't slept in dungeons before, but we can usually find a safer spot. And, uh, we certainly don't want to give an additional time for the Arenicus to find us. Oh, yes! I think we have your flask. I sense that you have the flask. Let us make the exchange. At last, I am free! Here is your item, Fleshling. You are an honorable person. I feel that I must warn you. Keep away from the master. He will torture you for escaping and kill you for freeing his genie slave. Escape from his glare quickly if you value your life. Farewell. Yeah, I think we should probably take his advice. Um, what item did he give us? 
Sword of Chaos, plus two. Saravok, Sword of Chaos. The Blade of Saravok, brother of Carid Lerae, used in the battle they fought in far away Baldur's Gate. Carid prevailed, destroying Saravok's plan and rescuing the Sword Coast from the brink of war. The sword itself denies identif defies identification, likely forged specifically for Saravok to best focus the infernal energy he hoped to control. Much of its power died with him. Its abilities, its each hit drains one hit point from the target and transfers it to the wielder. This will not heal beyond the wielder's maximum. It's a plus two, two-handed sword. Well, the only person in our party who could really use it was Minsk. And would he actually be willing to use Saravok's old sword? He'd probably be kind of leery about it. And Carid really wouldn't know exactly how to feel about it either. But considering it's a magical sword, and Saravok is long dead, I suppose using such a powerful weapon towards the cause of good really uh, isn't too questionable, I suppose. So, Carid making that pitch to Minsk. I suppose Minsk uh, would accept it. And yeah, based off of what he just described to us, about how I rate the Master would be, based off of everything we've been pulling off around here, the idea of resting is becoming less and less appealing. Yeah, <laughs> it's becoming horrifying, the thought I of it actually. Yes, so, even as fatigued as we are, it probably it is done. It's the best idea to just keep going and not to stop. And uh, as far as which portal we take is concerned, it would seem like this one would probably uh, be the wiser choice. I mean, this I guess this would be his personal quarters, and this would I don't know, be near the prison. I mean, you'd have to take one, that's what they, they said. So I suppose uh, we'll take this portal instead. Because there really doesn't seem like any safe, easily securable room. I mean, there's the laboratories down here. That's not a good idea. Places we could hide. Away from the Serenicus. Okay, so... This would probably be a good time to save a little bit more routinely than we do normally. Okay, good. I am willing. We got the acorns. Uh yeah, let's let's open up this portal. We must rest soon. Boo is getting squirrely. Oh, you geez, point a couple of I pop. rest would be welcome lest we endanger potions. ourselves. And actually probably would be a good idea to give some of these to our frontline fighters, considering how much they've been getting hurt recently. And they're bound not to be fighting at their uh, peak performance, fatigued as they are. Oh, okay, let's keep going. Using the portal. So, there is sanity in all this madness. If you are not in league with the evil that dwells in this unholy place, Yoshimo begs your assistance. Hmm. She hears saying a fair line easily used by servants of the sorcerer themselves. We've been imprisoned and worse and given many reasons to distrust strangers we encounter. I share your sentiments. I have seen much here that has disturbed me. I myself am a warrior with no evil intentions. Please, I would welcome any assistance you might offer. Well, how did you come to be here, then? It is actually quite, uh, embarrassing. My profession does not leave itself open to those who are not wary yet. Somehow, I was caught unaware. I came to Atkatla years ago from Karator to seek my fortune. At some point, I went to bed in my room at the Copper Coronet, and I awoke in a strange room with a very sore head. I do not know how long I was there before awaking. So, do you think that uh, we are in Nathkatla, then? I am unsure. I may have been drugged when I was brought here. I may have been unconscious. Either way, I do not know how long. It was the former. This place could be anywhere. 
If it was the latter, then I don't imagine that I could have traveled very far without noticing. So what would you propose we do, then? I do not know a way to escape this place. Perhaps we could search for this exit together. I would welcome another companion, but I'd have a few questions first. Well, what AA did you need, specifically? I do not know a way to escape... Uh, okay. Alright, I guess... Sure, you can come along with us. I mean, any bit of help we can find is welcome. I mean... Seems rather... A little bit suspicious, but... Uh, I think the party is so exhausted and so frightened at this point, they'd be willing to take any kind of help that they could get. So, yeah, please, join us. I shall be happy to lend my blade to your cause. There are two things that I have discovered about this place that may help us escape. And the next chamber beyond, the one in which we stand, four portals lie. Each of these portals releases a little cackling fiend which tries to kill me. These little beasties keep coming in through the portals. Perhaps if the portals are destroyed, one could defeat the beast that we have already come through. Shortly beyond that chamber, there is a hallway that contains several wands mounted in pedestals. They blast all that walk before them. I have noticed that each wand is locked into the pedestal and could be removed if one had the proper key. I know not where these keys are. Let us begin. Our actions are good and will serve the greater balance. Well, actually, come to think of it, Carrot already has found a couple of keys, frost and lightning. All right, let's take a look. This is Yoshimo using a different portrait than the one is typical because of the mod. Level 10 Bounty Hunter. Just like a variant on the thief. Interesting. He's pretty good at finding traps and moving quietly. Yeah, interesting. How does he compare katanas, daggers, short bows, and single weapons? How does Imowen compare? She's pretty good at traps and locks, but really not much else. Hmm. 